Hello friend, today I am going to show you this beautiful red rose arrangement, very modern. Uh, I think it's perfect for your next date night. Uh, we are going to talk about this beautiful red rose from Ecuador named Heart. They are gorgeous and the shape is hard if you look at it closely. Um, also, I am going to make beautiful arrangement or red rose arrangement in this uh, gift box. Very, very nice arrangement. So we are going to make compact design. Compact design, you start from center. You cut them size of your uh, row um, boxes, and then you go one by one to put it in. You make sure to give heat of your body to your roses. Make sure they are open and show that beautiful heart in center better. So when you cut them, make sure immediately you have to use in your design because the a stem will get clogged and they don't take water that much. So we have to also make sure roses are a little open. Play with these petals, open them, but heart is still in center showing. Fresh cut, always make sure fresh cut and go one by one. We are making compact, very nice, beautiful, compact rose arrangement. So I will go around the edge first, open them a little bit. If you have your roses prepared day before, they open nicer and better for your arrangement. Usually flowers are nicer if they are fully opened. Don't use tight rows from garden. When you bring them in, this one I can see heart very nice. When you bring them in, make sure at least one day out of garden. So this way they stay very nice in your design. I will do the edge first. Again, I open them fully. If you can see, I go with a little heat of my body and then with finger try to open them and go one by one inside very close to each other. We are making compact arrangement if you remember. So again, they are very beautiful, smell good. You can use them for any love, affection, occasion. Perfect for engagement party, proposal party, any way that you can go. So they need to be very close. I open them again. Make sure they are open. Sometimes with roses you can go this way. They open naturally. But I like to go one by one inside because I don't want to change shape of roses. Fresh cut always. Doesn't matter you cut straight or angle. Usually my student ask me what, how, what <laughs> angle we cut and I say it doesn't matter. In Ikebana design they say underwater cut and angle. But really, it doesn't matter. I respect Ikebana design, but it doesn't matter what or how you cut your roses, as long as you give fresh cut to your roses. So you have foam inside the box all the way to here. That's why they stay any way that you want. Okay. This one shows very nice heart. I can see and I enjoy it, especially this way. So enjoy look and color of your roses before you put in. That's how you get nice, good, positive energy from your arrangement. I want to take this out. Maybe I can see my arrangement better. We can put it back. 
So this way maybe I can work better. Again, make sure you put your roses out of refrigerator night before. Then you have easier easier design, I should say. So if you see any thorn or extra greenery while you do give fresh cut, make sure your cut is above the knot, not in be between. So you give nicer, cleaner cut to your roses or any flower. When you put in arrangement, you need to give cut above any knot. Carnation, they have that. Roses, they have that. So they are really, you make it nice and straight for you to work. You are going inside. Don't forget the line. I have something here I need to put. And you fill up all the area. Then we will put the top back if we want. Or you can do all round shape, but this is half moon shape. I see the beautiful heart again. As soon as I touch these roses, the heart shows and I like that. So very beautiful. Okay. We cut all of them individually and we go in. Sometimes you have to take the guard out like this one. You see it's a little bit bruises and damage and it will also, that's why they call it guard, also they protect your roses. I think in before previous videos, I already talked about protection of roses when they ship to us from Ecuador or Colombia. Again, I make sure it's nice and close. Guard, this one is guard too. The rest you can open with your finger. Just very softly and gentle to bring that heart out. Even if it doesn't have heart, still you need to open your roses. So second layer is on top of first. You are making nice, good, very compact design. So these roses need to be very close to each other. You don't count numbers. We don't know how many roses. Maybe 50, maybe 100. It depends how do you want your design to be. I like this heart shape roses to be very close to each other. So I don't know how many I'm gonna put. Okay. They are very cold. They are just came out of refrigerator. So I, each one individually, I play with them and make sure I open and show the heart. I love that when I see close by myself. So we go in. Fresh cut always. This one already opened, so that's nice when they open. They take more space and it's good for designer. It's faster. <laughs> that is not the reason we open roses. I like always have my flower to have their own full beauty when they are open. If they are not open, I don't know how they look like. Turn around this arrangement. I can see empty spot here. Okay. Very beautiful so far. I can uh, see empty spot here.
they open very nice. Fresh cut always. I like to see where I can put this beautiful rose. Maybe here. I need a little bit more. Maybe here. Oh, this is the book. Okay. Again, you take the guard off. Doesn't have that much guard. Only try to bring them out. When they open, really, they are just like gardenia or heart rose. They are like peonies. And this rose, they are look like gardenia. If you have seen any red gardenia, there is none. Gardenias are always white. So very beautiful. Okay, nice fresh cut. I like to go here. Gorgeous. Okay, I like to see if there is any more room and gap. Yes, I can put one here and one here. You see that? You can judge better. We don't rush with roses. Always very, very soft touch and enjoy. Energy you get from flower, it's really good for you any kind of design. I love this. I like to put some in front. I don't like to rush because I want you to enjoy every moment of opening roses. Otherwise I can do this video in less than 10 or five minutes. Or this design, I can do less, so. I had another gap here. I have more gap, I can see from back. One more here. This one is very cold. I can hear when I bend the petals, they crack. So we make sure they don't. So maybe I don't. It's a little bit. Need more time. Oh my God, I don't open it. I just leave it like that. It will open naturally in arrangement, which is good. People, they like to see their roses last longer, so they open naturally. We get all greenery. Just warm it a little bit and go open. I think we are good if I put one more here. So this is half moon design, not full round. But the back is nice, I will show you 
with the lid, when I put the lid back, you can see it's nice round. I think I have one gap here. I'm going to put the I have some dusty miller which is very nice and soft I will put in the back to just cover mechanic I don't like to show any mechanic in the back or any side of your this is back and this is front. Front is full of compact, all roses together, edge is covered, which is mechanic, I don't like to show. And back is, it's simple, but covered. It's very important, it's covered, okay?